Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video, I'd like to start our series on geometric dimensioning and tolerancing. And what I'd like to do in this first video is kind of give you a brief introduction to what our ultimate uh, product's going to be, and maybe explain some of the little things involved with this in a very generalized manner. And then in subsequent videos, kind of go into more and more detail as uh, we need to go through. These series of videos are going to uh, reflect uh, very simply uh, just a basic general overview of geometric uh, dimension and tolerance and, and sometimes there are whole courses that are taught in this. And the desire here, and just to put this into a nutshell, geometric dimension and tolerance in is, uh, is, you know, pretty much allows you as a designer to specify in very precise uh, manner uh, how you want your part built and uh, what tolerance is in regard to some of the dimensions being put on your part and the way you measure your part you know, what you're willing to tolerate in regard to an acceptable part. That's what it's all about. And uh, in, regard to, in regard to describing this, you could des describe it in notes, but uh, generally it uh, comes down to symbols, using symbols and uh, other reference geometry that allows you to describe more than anything else in a drawing format that you see in front of you, uh, how these are put together and the tolerances you're willing to accept. So let's talk about this. This is our ultimate goal. I mean, it's a very simple part. We have a block with a hole in it and a pin. The pin goes in the hole, and there's a certain amount of uh, precision and tolerance that we're willing to accept in this. So let's start with the pin and uh, kind of describe uh, some of the things we're going to be looking for. Now, first of all, the dimension uh, in regard to the cylinder, uh, you know, the, the, the diameter of the cylinder that describes this pin is up here. So it's 5 eighths of an inch. That's a basic dimension but we're willing to accept a pin that's smaller than that by five thousandths of an inch so you have the ability with a bilateral uh, um, or I'm sorry with a limit uh, tolerance on that we can go up uh, we I know we'll accept the basic dimension as it is but we can also make that uh, diameter a little bit smaller at five one thousandths of an inch is what that means you can control that over here in your properties manager uh, on the left hand side of your screen so what that means is that uh, that pin, if it goes inside of this hole, and this hole is always going to be uh, 5 eighths of an inch, it's allowed to be 5 eighths of an inch or less than that. If it's less than that, it'll have a lot of clearance in here and it should slide in there pretty easily. If this hole is going to be at 5 eighths of an inch, and you have a pin at 5 eighths of an inch, it's going to have difficulty getting in there, but it still should provide, maybe with a little bit of hammering, uh, a certain amount of clearance. So you as a designer, are gonna, you're going to put that together and uh, make these tolerances. But uh, the symbology that's associated with that, and I like to go through some of the symbols in this uh, drawing, show you how they read, and then go through in later uh, videos, uh, kind of go through some uh, additional explanation on how these things are put together. So we have a symbol up here, which is called a feature control frame. And if you double click on that, it gives you the ability to uh, make uh, edits to that, or maybe even initiate that. Uh, you're starting with the symbol over here, and that symbol is cylindricity. So if you click on that, and you hover your mouse over some of these uh, different symbols up here, it tells you what it is. And what we're saying here is we want a cylindricity uh, with a tolerance of uh, ten thousandths of an inch. So in other words, if you create a virtual, a virtual uh, cylinder in here, we are desiring with this pin, it should be able to fit inside that cylinder uh, within a, a tolerance of uh, ten thousandths of an inch. So it could be a little bit smaller than ten thousandths of an inch, or it could be a little bit bigger than ten thousandths of an inch. But it has to fit within that cylinder, within that tolerance, and that's something that's defined by you as the designer. Over here, in regard to this axis, which defines this hole over here, in regard to our block, what we're seeing here is that axis uh, can be perpendicular uh, within a tolerance of ten thousandths of an inch at the most material condition in reference to datum A. So datum A is kind of like a virtual surface, not necessarily the bottom of our object, but it's a virtual surface that we're going to make measurements from. And so we have, if we have a way, and there are ways of measuring uh, the, this axis, or maybe the cylindrical surface that uh, defines that axis, it has to be perpendicular, as the designer has been stated by the designer, perhaps you, of ten thousandths of an inch, uh, variation from that. So it can bend with an angle, perhaps at a ten thousandths of an inch, or vary in one way or the other from the top probably, a ten thousandths of an inch from the base down here uh, regard to data A. 
And the most material condition, just to give it to you in a very brief uh, format here, the most material condition in regard to a block with a hole in it is when the hole is at its smallest. So if you look up here to our uh, uh, the, the definition of the, uh, of the diameter of that hole, uh, we have a tolerance of 0 0.630 and our limit uh, tolerance on that dimension. And it could be as, as small as uh, 0.625. So we started at 5 eighths of an inch and allowed it to be 5 thousandths of an inch higher than that. So, at the most material condition, uh, it's been a hole is going to be at the smallest end of its uh, tolerance up here, and that's going to be at 5 eighths of an inch. If you think about the most material condition regarding this pin, it's also going to be, if you think about this, and it takes a little bit of thought with this, the most material condition is going to be when this cylinder is going to be at its maximum. So as maximum 2 is it at 5 eighths of an inch, 0.65 as, point to, as opposed to 0 0.620. In regard to this hole, it's 0.65 as opposed to 0 0.630. And that, that defines, in a nutshell, the most material condition. So let's take a look at this in regard to data A. I already have a, uh, a uh, part open. I have a, uh, an assembly open with that model in here, with the pin already inserted into the block. And I have my datums in here. So if you think about it, then the datum A is not necessarily the bottom uh, surface of this part, but it's actually the, a table, perhaps, maybe a tabletop of where that, uh, of that uh, part is actually uh, resting on. And we have some of these things in our machine lab, too, or in our machine shop where we have a, a very smooth surface that we can make measurements from. It's the very same thing here. It's not necessarily the bottom of the object, but it's where that object is resting on. So our datum A, our object is resting on datum A. It's also put up against the wall in regard to datum B and up against the third wall, which is datum C. And that axis, if we were to hide this right now, that axis uh, goes right down the middle of that cylindrical hole. And this is what we're going to be measuring in regard to a datum A and it's allowed to have a, a tolerance or a variation of uh, 10 thousandths of an inch. Okay, to move on, we also have a datum B and C as described in the previous uh, view of that assembly. And we have a, another feature control frame that defines this as being the position of, get this in a position where we can see everything, the position of this, uh, of this hole uh, the diameter of that hole is going to have a variation of three thousandths of an inch at the most material condition in regard to datums B and C. And it's all uh, situated here, so if we want to change some of these values, we can do that here and go to OK. What that says is that the position of the diameter of this hole can vary in regard to datum B by three thousandths of an inch. So it can move up or down by three thousandths of an inch. In regard to datum C, or four thousandths of an inch now, as it's stated, it can move left to the right by a variation of four thousandths of an inch. So that's our ultimate product, that's our ultimate goal here, is to come up with these uh, definitions, these uh, feature control frames, and other elements that we're going to add to our drawings in order to specify our tolerance or the variation in regard to the dimensions that are there and uh, how we want, eventually, our parts to be built. So in the next films, we'll cut into this uh, just a little bit more deeply into uh, some of the more details. So we'll see you soon.